So you just bought a brand new 500 gigabyte hard drive, plugged it in and wait, Windows shows 465 gigabytes? What just happened? Did you just lose 35 gigabytes for no reason? Should you be outraged? Whoa, hold on a second there. There's a reason why this happens. We're here to tell you just why. My name's Aaron and you're watching Tech at a Glance. Normally when we count something, we use a base 10 number system, meaning that every digit in a number can be anything from 0 to 9. For larger numbers, we rely on something called SI prefixes. For example, using kilos, megas, or giga to denote thousands, millions, or billions of something. So instead of saying I have to travel 302,151 meters, I can simply just say 302 kilometers. Hard drive manufacturers commonly use this notation. When you buy a 500 gigabyte hard drive, you can expect there to be 500 billion bytes of available storage space to use. The problem lies in how Windows actually recognizes these prefixes. Computers store and interpret information in binary notation, meaning that data is actually saved in a series of bits or switches. If you haven't already done so, please check out our previous video where we actually explain exactly what bits, switches, and binary notation actually are. With regards to storage capacity, this means, at least from a computer's perspective, everything from where to how data is stored in its memory relies on numbers deriving from the powers of two. So rather than defining one kilobyte as 1000 bytes, computers define one kilobyte as two to the power of 10 bytes or 1024 bytes. Back when people were dealing with really small memory capacities, this difference didn't really matter. People figured 1024 was about 1000 anyways. But as the years passed by and we started having gigabytes and much, much bigger memory capacities, the discrepancy became a bit more obvious. Normally in SI units, one gigabyte would equal one billion bytes. In Windows, one gigabyte is defined as just over one billion bytes. So when Windows sees 500 gigabytes or 500 billion bytes from your new hard drive, it'll basically do a calculation, which gets about 465 gigabytes of storage space instead of the expected 500 gigabytes. Okay, so 500 gigabytes equals to 465 gigabytes. Wait, what? You're not the only one that's confused. Honestly, the nomenclature is to blame here. For some reason, both SI prefixes and binary prefixes are used interchangeably for different values. The International Electrotechnical Commission, or IEC, has tried to alleviate the confusion by adding some more prefixes to the mix. TB for 1024, MEBI for 1024 squared, DB for 1024 cubed, and so on and so forth. Problem is, nobody really knows about them, so nobody's really going to use them. And we're back at square one again, where 500 gigabytes equals to 465 gigabytes. At this point, there isn't really that much that can be done, unless hard drive manufacturers start using base 2 in their storage capacities. Until then, at least now you know why your 500GB hard drive won't actually show up as 500GB on your computer. Eh, it's something cool to know about. If you like topics like these, please like the video and leave a comment. Let us know whether or not you feel cheaped out every time you buy a new hard drive. Also, let us know what kinds of other topics you'd like us to cover and subscribe for more videos from Tech at a Glance. See you next time.